Now, while departing from France following a five-day visit overseeing the commemoration of the 80th anniversary of the D-Day landings in Normandy, U.S. President Joe Biden confirmed that an agreement with President Emmanuel Macron has been reached over the use of profits for fro frozen Russian assets to aid Ukraine in its war effort. Now, the idea spearheaded by the United States is to see the steady revenue stream from the profits ceased Russian financial assets continue to generate to service a $50 billion tranche. The plan is to use these frozen profits to issue a large upfront loan to Kiev and secure its financing for the war into 2025. Around 260 billion euros or close to 280 billion dollars of the Russian central bank funds are frozen worldwide, with most of it in the European Union. The funds generate 2.5 billion to 3.5 billion euros a year in profit, which the EU says is not contractually owed to Russia. Russia has slammed the plan, warning that any diversions of its profits would tantamount to theft. Standing next to President Emmanuel Macron, President Biden also sent a warning to the rest of Europe, stating that the entire continent remains under threat as Russian President Vladimir Putin will not stop with Ukraine. And the idea that we're able to avoid being engaged in major battles in Europe is just not realistic. That's why it's so important that we continue to have the alliances we have, continue to beef, beef up those alliances, continue to keep NATO strong, continue to do what we've been able to do for the last, since the end of World War II. On the battlefield, Russian and Ukrainian forces continue to target each other. Russia says that troops continue to move deep into Ukrainian defense line, while Ukraine claims to have repelled Russian military attacks over the past 24 hours. Moscow claims that its forces shot down one Mi-8 military helicopter and 71 drones of Ukraine and also intercepted multiple missiles and rockets. The Russian Black Sea Fleet says that it sank five unmanned boats of the Ukrainian army. This as Ukraine's defense intelligence claims that an Sukhoi 57 was targeted at the airfield and as per the agency's claim the airfield lies 589 kilometers away from the active front lines between Ukrainian and Russian forces. If the plane were to be deemed beyond repair, it would be the first combat loss of a Sukhoi 57. The attack comes days after the United States and its allies allowed Ukraine to attack the Russian territory using their weapons. Putin has threatened to retaliate against Western countries that are allowing Ukraine to hit Russia with their long-range missiles. For all the latest news, download the Vyond app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.